Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Paint Table. This is my weekly show where you see what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So this week I finished some more ogres for my Ogre Maw Tribe army, um, as well as some hired guns and brutes and scum uh, for Necromunda. And like just finished a model that had been sitting half painted that was in my carrying case at the same time uh, for a gang that I'm probably not starting for a while, but I just wanted to like... When something's sitting there just like not quite finished, I just finished off while I was finishing other things. Um, also, a whole bunch of new projects started this week. I built my Sisters of Battle um, armor box, which was a lot of fun. You guys actually hung out with me uh, while you did it. If you want to click up here in the links, you can see me um, sit down and put them together and just get some commentary on the process and stuff as well. Um, I built up another addition to my Warhammer Fantasy Battle 6th edition skirmish uh, collection, basically. Which is going to end up being a collection for something else, which you'll see in a minute, because I dug something out of my storage unit. Um, and then uh, stuff has shown up for two new games. Uh, God Tier from Steamforge Games has uh, started to deliver its Kickstarter. And I got some warbands here and a couple of the star sets to, to give a try. And also uh, Zone Raiders by Tony Zhao. It's a self-published sci-fi skirmish, um, which we'll be giving a review and a go to uh, relatively soon as well. So let's take a look at what I got done and what is coming up. So first things first, here is the done pile, starting with my ogres. Um, I have, first of all, these were my Azirian Thunderguard. These were ogres that I started to paint for AOS uh, back when you could just kind of ally with anything. I think it'd be cool to have some Stormcast allied with some like ogres that have been living in Azer. It's just never happened that the game changed and you could no longer have destruction ally with order. So um, I decided to add these together uh, into my ogre tribe and I, I converted these using all of the Gargan hackers from um, the Mornfang Cav, because they're just bigger, cooler, great weapons. Uh, and I thought it'd be fun to basically finish them off and have them be like my Tyrant's Gut Guard. So when I do use the Tyrant's Gut Guard mob uh, rules, I'll have these guys um, be as like personal bodyguard. Because their armor's kind of fancier, they're in like a uniform sort of like color scheme. They have their like thunder symbols and stuff on them. All the Azerite like symbols that I actually paint on them as tattoos and stuff. So maybe just historically these guys served in the Thunder Guard at one point and now are, you know, just back with the tribe, hanging out, manager style. Um, but they're tons of fun. I, the hardest part was I had to match the flush. They did the flush on these guys differently um, for my Azer army, and I had to go back and figure out, well, not just figure out, but find the paints to, to get the, the, the skin to be a little bit closer to the skin on these two over here. This is an actual... So this is basically taking Bugman's Glow and, and adding um, some of the, the palette that I had in my other skin tone. This is the original skin tone, which you can see here is actually old um, Scorched Brown blended up through Rotting Flesh. And this is it, again, me trying to mimic it with the current range of scholars. <laughs> so, I mean, these two are these two are pretty close. These two are about as close as I'm going to get uh, using current paint, paint colors and, and now it's paint colors. And then this is just me kind of like adding some highlights to kind of blend them down and have them be together as the same sort of family of colors. Uh, and then using that great, fantastic texturing stuff from uh, Huge Minis. I've gone through almost a whole pot of the uh, the basalt one, the black one, and it is so easy to use. Oh my god, I never really want to use anything else to base miniatures anymore. It's basically like um, huge tubs of the texture paint uh, that you can get from Vallejo or uh, Citadel, like their Astrogant and stuff, but like significantly cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> and it dries great, and it's really easy to work with. Um, then over here, I added some stuff to my Necromunda campaign. So this is Mr. Bubbles. He's my converted up Ogren uh, Jotun pattern servitor uh, with his like big like breaker here, which is his augmentic fist. And then this is his um, uh, hydraulic cutter. No, sorry, his acetylene torch, whatever it is. Just using the uh, the Bulgrins from um, 40K and then converting them up to me. A little more, uh, what's the term? Uh, a little more... Uh, uh, Bioshocky, because <laughs> I want him to just be like, he doesn't make sounds, he just goes when he's walking around. Um, and then these are my two pit fighters uh, for when you have the fighting pit as your uh, settlement or like one of your territories in a um, Dominion campaign. I forgot these little pit slaves because there's not currently any rules for pit slaves, but uh, they're basically perfect as, as fighters. This guy's got a heavy hammer, a stub pistol, um, and then he's got just. I, I wish you could get a chainsword. You can't quite get a chainsword, it's too rare. So he just has a sword and a auto pistol, and they both have flak armor. Um, and I want them to be in the same kind of like uh, uh, pale palette, you know, Borg looking skin as my Ogren Servitor. Uh, this is wheels because he's got the old tire as his uh, shoulder pad there. And then over here because he's just legs, the leg man. And if you get that reference, then you watch too much TV at some point. This is the leg man because he's only got legs. <laughs> he's just got two robot arms. So wheels and the leg man. Uh, and then I dug out a Lieutenant Varus from Battle of McCrag. Uh, he's my rogue doc. This is Doc Copper. Did him up in some just sort of like hospital colors and then made his little um, carry all there full of like blood sub samples and serums and things. So he's ready to hang out. Former guard medic turned uh, rogue doctor because of his gambling addiction. And then finally we have Hans Gruber, my... Uh, <coughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, I made myself choke there when I was laughing. Um, this is my uh, uh, leader for my Vansar gang that had just been sitting like half finished because I hadn't put his shield on yet and I just wanted to finish him up. So there he is all done too with his combi melta last pistol thing or last carbine and his little energy shield and all of his cool mesh armor and armor body glove. These guys are tough as nails. Um, and there's five more models. So it's on a painting space cops next, but this gives me like a nice little rogues gallery of odds and ends using games. I got some hive scum, I got my Jotun pattern servitor, and I got my rogue dock. And so here's the coming up pile. It's uh, it's a bit intimidating today. <laughs> Luckily, I have the pre-release metal versions of a lot of this stuff painted already. So I have um, uh, Laura Stanley, the Tunnel Rin, and her Misfit Range. I have them painted already. Uh, I have uh, Rotary Iron uh, Heart painted as well. But I'm gonna have to paint up um, Half Tusk, the Warden of the Stone Skin Isle, and his Froglodytes. Get it? Froglodytes. Uh, the model quality is pretty cool. I'm gonna do a review of these though. But you can see they're the same kind of colored PVC I think as the. Um, the current range, uh, or sorry, previous range, um, uh, Guild Ball stuff. And then God Tears, uh, first star set, this is the um, one with the Halfling, so her name's, she's Naya the Crystal Mancer, and then the Lich Queen, uh, Morrigan, is in here. So you get some cool, like, little Geode rock men's, some very cool skeletons, and then um, Morrigan, she's like a female Lich. And then over here, we have the, I love this one, this is the Ninja Humans against the big Night Human. Sorry, the Ninja Elves, actually. So this one's Finvard, Lord of Mirage, and Titus, the Disgraced, a Knight. Some very cool miniatures. Both come with board, so I'll have some different boards to play on, and all your cards and dice and stuff to play. So we'll be playing this this week, probably me and uh, Owen, because we both have forces. Like, we both have um, stuff painted. I'm going to paint up one of the star sets of guys, and we'll give uh, we'll crack up one of the star sets and give it a go. And here's my Battle Sister Army box all put together, minus um, putting my Seraphim on flight stands. These god-awful flying stands that... <laughs> Uh, the Inceptors came on fine flank stands, and now everything's on these flank stands, and they're terrible. Um, <laughs> my Battle Squad, the Flamer and Stormbolter, uh, my Arkle Flagellants, my Canonus, my um, uh, Repentia with the uh, Repentia Majoris, whatever her name is, the Sister Superior. And then, of course, back here, the much smaller now, but no less cool looking, Penitent Engine, which is pretty rad. But it's like wheels of drugs to like inject in this guy to make him go crazy. Uh, and so there it is. Um, I think I'm gonna do Argent Shroud. I've, I've been the only reason I haven't base coated these yet is my airbrush has been uh, pooched. The um, the double action to let air in is like messed up now. It's got a bunch of paint and it's sticking. So I either gotta get a new 105. I've got a Neo Air that I need to pick up from Jay, um, which I will this week. And I'm gonna get these guys all airbrushed and base coated so I can probably do them in the Argent Shroud colors and the Ghoul Stars. I found this little guy. This is my first enforcer I built. I'm gonna use him as the enforcer junior. So when you get a replacement, just cause like he's so awesomely old school and uh, he's a lot smaller than the current enforcers are. So I think I'm gonna have him be like the trainee. They don't give him good equipment until he like becomes a, a real boy. I just like being able to mark them as being different. And then over here, some more um, Warhammer 6th edition stuff. Nice nice 5th and 6th edition miniatures. And some, some really old Psycho Styrene Dwarves too to paint up um, for our skirmish campaign. And that's gonna be super handy for playing this. I went to my storage unit, uh, my storage locker, and dug out uh, this unpunched copy of Warhammer Quest I have. Um, Chris found all of the, uh, the, like the cardboard, basically, like the booklets for all the additional heroes, too. And we have a bunch of them. Like, you just saw the Witch Hunter was sitting in that pile of Empire guys. I have the Noble painted up. Um, I have the Pit Fighter. We have all four of the original heroes. Um, I have the Warrior Priest somewhere. I, I'm pretty sure we have most of them. Uh, Chris has the, um, the Elf Ranger is his uh, prince for his high elf skirmish war band, so like, we should be able to do most of this. And also, Chris is currently painting orcs from Air, uh, Lair of the Oracle Lord. He's got the Oracle Lord he's painting up right now. So we have all kinds of stuff to do for quests. You guys have been missing Hero Quest. This, I, this felt like I, I found some of the Barbarian expansion from North America miniatures, but not enough stuff to actually play. So this felt like a good thing to jump into and scratch that itch of like group adventure shenanigans. And then finally, we've got Lone the Zone Raiders right here from Tony. Um, this is a cool miniatures agnostic. Um, Sci-fi skirmish, really well illustrated and um, beautifully laid out too. This was a crowdfund he ran, I think, two years ago now, with some really nice miniatures, lots of great terrain, um, and we're going to be giving that a go relatively soon. I got another copy for Owen, um, so you can build a warband as well, and we'll dig out some miniatures and figure out how we're going to play it. But you see that coming up soon. So you got another on the paint table done and on the books. Another twelve miniatures painted, uh, five for Necromunda, seven for AOS, um, and yeah, this was a. Uh, a busy week of assembling things too. I 
got a lot of projects I'm working on. This time there's a lot of new things coming uh, going into Christmas. Like the beginning of summer and as we start the holiday season are two of like the busiest times for me because lots of people launch products, deliver Kickstarters, and it gets crazy. So I got lots to do. I'll see what I get done next week. Until then, I'm Ash. Have more gaming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathway Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.